Come at me, guys. Oh, they dropped food. Nice. Yeah, good enough. What was this here? A desolate camp. Okay. Oh, more people. Also known as free XP. They can't stop me. I do so much damage and I have life drain. So every time they hit me, I immediately heal it back up. The only thing they can really do is then body part damage. But I'm also, I have high dodge chance and we have, and to be fair, these are also low tier bandits, which is why I'm charging in. Um, if we were, once we find the higher tier bandits, I'll start playing a bit more carefully. Yeah, kill them with a the Counter-Strike. Good stuff. We might even level up from this quest, or we will for sure. Uh, let's charge in here. The money is going to disappear, but whatever. My curses will eat it. So this should be where the camp is. Here. One mid-tier bandit and a low-tier bandit. Why are we getting all these low-tier guys? Oh, I'm deadly hungry now. Huh. Now let me seize the initiative first, and then we will eat. Feasting in the middle of combat here. Uh, we were going for the final point in strength here. Good. And I have more or less decided, though, that I want to go for elusiveness as the next big thing, uh, which means I should have put points into vitality, I guess. Huh. Oh, okay, we're not going to get that. Damn, six more levels until we can unlock elusiveness, unless I find a an Athletics Treatise 3, which is not going to happen. So never mind, I guess. Okay, Swords. Two more points, two more points. Hmm. Oh, so I don't have anything that I want to throw points into. There's the sword skill here. Gloat. Sword attacks gain extra five crit chance and weapon damage for each bleeding affecting the target. Killing a bleeding enemy reduces its ability to trees active cooldowns by two turns. And five extra bleed chance. That doesn't really work against the troll. Man, I was really hoping we would get elusiveness. I have a a strategy I want to try out with elusiveness. elusiveness. Um, but six more points. It's just not going to happen. Sad business. Maybe not this time into sudden lunge. That's kind of okay against the troll. And then we would want to have no time to linger, but we're not going to get that either. Damn it, now I don't know what to get. Uh. Okay, let's go kill some harpies, shall we? But we have hit a roadblock, like literally. Uh, let's go ar south around the mountain. You need to use butter to fry grated potatoes until they are crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Butter to fry grated potatoes. Crispy on the outside. It sounds delicious. Hmm. Doesn't sound like it would be that hard to make. Hash browns. Hmm. Uh, 
I'm not much of a cook. So, it's probably not going to happen, but I can appreciate it. <laughs> Why would I cook when I can play Stone Shot? Order pizza, take away, and then sit down and record an episode for you guys of Despot's Game. Legend of Keepers. Total War Warhammer. There is not enough time in all of the world to play all the games that I need to play before I become too old to play video games. Not sure why I did that. Oh, he hit his friend. Nice. Out of ammo. Oh, I forget that there's a min maxing strat that we can use um, to oh to get the most out of our buffs and curses and stuff. We'll get to that in a minute after I get done killing these guys. Oh, there's more coming. Oh, this finally a fight. Let's get the fencer stands up here and then dash over there. And there's more coming. And these are archers. Great. Okay. Maybe I overdid it a bit here. Now we go here. <laughs> he shot his friend in the back. Good. Do I advance? Yes. Four turns until I can dash at someone here. Yeah. Then he aims, so we step towards him. He aims, so we step towards him, and now I can dash him. Good. And he's out of ammo over there. Slaughter. But these are low tier bandits. I'm not sure why we're getting all these low tier dudes. Illusionist is pretty strong, but it but never used it. I haven't used it since they uh, changed it. I was about to say nerfed, but they, I think they made it better. It used to be really, really good. And I haven't had it since it, they changed it because it's so hard to get now. But I've seen some enemies who have it and it's so broken. I would like to show you guys just how broken it is because I have formulated a strategy for it, but uh, we can't get it, <laughs> so I guess not. Maybe if we find the treatises, though, right? Because I can I can buy Athletics two treatises in Manshire, like that's just a thing we can pick up. So all we need is the Athletics three treatises. But oh oh. Oh, and it's night time. That's too bad. Because now we can't see shit. <laughs> I wanted to see the harpy's nest. Well, I have to be careful. I, I'm assuming that I can beat the harpies. Uh, having never fought a, a harpy in this game yet, I don't know, I suppose. Here's the harpy. So a harpy is a beast. It is a carnivore. It is my equal in terms of level. They are territorial, or its its current mood is territorial. It's wet. Okay. What do we have here? Rapid flight. Rushes toward a targeted tile, receiving dodge chance for two turns at range 7. The skill doesn't go on cooldown if the harpy's wings aren't injured. Can you sleep next to the campfire or just cook? Just cook. And I think you can use it for other skill activations in the survival tree, but you need to have skill points and those kind of things to activate it, right? Uh, 
was looking slightly intimidating until you just move that whole crowd of fighters in seconds, yeah. I have a lot of stuff that makes them incapable of hitting me, and we have life drain. So, like, they hit me a little bit, and then I uh, hit them back for, like, a critical hit and heal all the health back immediately. So um, that's why I wasn't too worried. We need some enemies that have better defensives than themselves and hit harder. The higher tier bandits. Anyway. Pick. Type target object. Okay. Range 1. Energy 6. Cooldown 10. Performs an attack with body part damage, crit chance and bleed chance. If the attack hits the head and deals at least 4% of the target's maximum health as damage, It'll apply the target with blindness for two turns. Blindness. I don't know if I have ever seen the blindness debuff. Huh. Okay. Bail for the scream. Okay, so they have a ranged ability here. Range six. That's out a scream dealing psionic damage to its target. Has a chance to daze its target for two turns or cause clumsiness for four turns. Hmm. Okay. And here, unbearable stench. Who farted? Has 33% chance of provoking coughing in all adjacent enemies. The effect from multiple harpies don't stack. Okay. That must be per turn, right? And elusive pertinence, pertinence. Guarants 50% dodge chance and 25% counter chance allows to escape from the battlefield two turns after beginning to retreat. Wing injuries, stun, immobilization, and being covered in oil disable this ability. Being covered in oil? Oh, that's kind of cool. So you want to bring like flasks of oil to hunt harpies. Interesting. I could immobilize them. And I'm assuming I can beat at least one hobby here. There it comes. Okay. Just like that. Then he did this thing. So he gets dodge chance for two turns. Rushes towards target entirely. It didn't go on cooldown. Right. But I can still play around with him a bit here. So we will let's, let's sweep him. Move away. He did not get immobilized. But he did hit a ranged ability. And now he dazed me. So I can't activate my stances or anything. Okay. I guess I... There's no point in me stepping away. He's just going to fly to me and get the dodge chance again. If I stay still, he's probably just going to move forward. Yeah. No. Oh, he did the ability. Okay. Uh, we can also drain them of energy, I think. But this is not a thing that costs energy. I thought maybe we could drain them of all the energy they can't use the escape thing. But no. I don't think it's an active ability that costs energy. Okay, let's seize the initiative from him. Good. 7% health. Alright. That gives me some more confidence then. Come at me. Birdie birdie. And now it's escaping. Oh, that was one turn after starting to retreat. Hex. So I should have thrown something at it. We can pick up some harpy feathers by killing them and skinning them. That wasn't worth anything. Unlike common birds, harpies boast surprisingly durable and resilient feathers. Huh. Okay, and there's a uh, thing here. Harpy's nest. Harpies are always on the lookout, ready to defend their nests against an, in, any interloper. Except that guy, he ran away. So we kill that, and we get fatty meat, bone, pelvic bone. And only two harpies. Okay. Well, I can see how lo a low, lower level adventurer might have a trouble with them. And I, one of them did get away, you know, so it wasn't like a, a complete victory. Okay, we have now seen the harpies. Uh, we are deadly hungry, okay. So I'm guessing the curse, if I look at it here, it says 
One percent chance to increase hunger or thirst. Ah, not both. It used to be both. All right, that makes it a little bit less intense. So at level 9, uh, we're all already are well on our way to level 10, so we can get through the trolls soonish. And then, I don't know, we might do some more contracts, but then I think it's time to go murder all the town guards in every city. <laughs> because that's how we end a campaign in Stone Shard these days. It'll only be my second time doing it, but I enjoyed it the last time. And I did get murdered in Bryn. So this time I would like to be able to kill the Bryn Town Guard. Oh, we are deadly thirsty here. Did I miss it? No. Must be down here. Oh, an enemy. And these are humans. Higher level bandits. All right. Good. Should have activated the, uh, the stands first. But we charge in. He hit, tries to hit me, fumbles, and we dodge out of the way. And then uh, we counterattack. So... Again, he attacked, we block. Okay, we didn't get to counterattack that time. Just out of curiosity, my counter chance is 70 point, 70 percent right now here. Ah, and then it will goes down because I lost the buff from the dash. It only lasts for three turns. Okay, that's fair. Anyone else? There's one more guy out there. I guess I'll go and cook the food. Don't worry, sir. I'll be right with you. Board shield. Or like board shield. Here's a higher tier rogue. Okay. Gotta eat some food, gotta drink some water, he will dash, we will immobilize him. Good, activate the stance. He's got elusiveness, this guy, okay. Yeah. Uh, like that, hit him. Oh, but <laughs> I stepped onto his tile. That's the first time I see that in Stone Shot. Okay. A little glitch. Fun stuff. A trap. Oh, a library. Give me that Alethix Treatise 3. Come on, baby. Access to this one. Jade figurine. I guess I'll take it. Food. Food. Tomato. No. Oh. Okay. Just give a turn. And again. Activate the stands. He's got seized the initiative too, so we gotta wait for him to do his. But then he died. What is this? An identification scroll. No. Nightstand. Okay. We can pick up the net. Oh, he had a purse. My purse is empty. 
So if I pick up this purse, we're going to start losing money from it. Let me just let it lie there for a minute. Combat Master Retreat is two. Didn't unlock anything. Because they're all already unlocked. Damn. We could always get the, the War Cry. Or one of the tactics. If nothing else. I haven't really made my mind up about it yet. But we would need two skill points to get to that anyway. So just keep the point for now. Hope for another cool treatise or something. If I got Combat Master with Treatise 3, it wouldn't help because we need three skill points to get to the finisher. All right, where are we going? Here. Let us go and murder some bandidos. Have a little coffee break. One-shotting people. How can I one-shot him? Oh, we counter-attacked first, so it's two-shotting him. Fair enough. He fumbled, and we didn't take any damage. Knock, dash to him, uh, step away from him. I forgot, he never gets an attack off, so the dash was useless. Now this is worth something. Oil, technically worth money. Food is for eating. Coffee midday hits differently than early in the morning. Does it? I mean, I don't know if that's what you mean, but when I wake up, I've, I've noticed that until I get my first cup of coffee, I just can't do anything. I can try to build up the energy to go record an episode for the YouTube channel or I try to do some work and I just can't summon up the energy and I, and I never understand why and then I'm like maybe so then I, by just by automation I go and get my cup of coffee and woo then I get the energy and then I start recording and I start doing work it's like magic so that first cup of coffee is essential to Kitchen's daily life at this point. Which, it's kind of sad, but like, at the same time, I was going to drink that coffee anyway, so it's not like... <laughs> maybe I need it, but at the same time, I also want it, so it's fine, I guess. It's the good kind of addiction, maybe. I said every addict ever. I don't know, man. Now I'm making this sound real bad. <laughs> Caffeine fiend. I just bought a new sign. I'll bring it. This is uh, literally hanging here in my living room. Coffee zone. I was thinking about like, how can I, how can I have it hanging here on this on the stream somehow, but I don't, I can't hang stuff on my green screen, you know, so this is the coffee zone, though. That's my new, newly acquired decoration for my living room. Range weapon treatise too, and another vivifying essence. This, these feathers are worth nothing. Yeah. 
Exvaid. I am doing fairly well today. I've been a little... I didn't even mention this, but I've been a little bit under the weather this week. Uh, but I'm... I'm back, I think. I'm feeling good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? Where do you go to make your coffee? To the kitchen? Nice. <laughs> Yes, I go to the kitchen. Does he not have a cease initiative? Anyway, he's dead. I was, I've, if I ever make a whip shop for the kitchen brand, one of the things I gotta have is a keychain that says kitchen. I, it's such a bad pun, but I hope you guys get it. Right, it's the, another one of those. It's just... Yeah. Knowing Keechan's addiction, he probably has an espresso machine in this room. I don't really like espresso. And I, you'd think with all the, my talk of coffee that I like black coffee. But I actually don't like the taste of coffee that much. I dress mine with uh, some uh, wheat milk. Uh, not actual milk, but like vegan milk. And then a little bit of liquid sweetener. So that's the kitchen way of drinking coffee. And then I make, I, I, I put so much of this wheat milk in that it's barely even coffee anymore. It's more like a latte, like a really fancy latte kind of thing. Half, half of one thing and half of the other. Uh, maybe 25, 75, you know, of, of mostly coffee. But, um, yeah, I find that that tastes much better, and I'm sorry to hear, Xvade. You're going to get some medicine for you, but your car won't turn on, so you're working on your car. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better. Is that because of the, the snowstorms, the frostpunk weather? In the Americas, that your car broke down, I mean. You guys thought that 2020 and 2021 was bad because of all the COVID and now we're playing Frostpunk and and uh, Battlefield 2023, 2022, sorry, right? So, in real life, ooh, a higher level enemy, exciting. Have you tried putting in the key and turning? <laughs> uh, so helpful, mind control. It was in the garage, I think there's something else going on, okay. Well, I am not good with cars. I have a car now. Uh, <laughs> for the first time in my life. But that does not make me an expert in any form or fashion. So I'll refrain from commenting further. Uh, step up here. Murder. He's still standing. Good on him. A sword treatise too. Oh, that gave me that gave me endurance training. Here, endurance training, huh? Using this ability's skills grants twenty five percent energy restoration for four turns, but I don't need the energy. I need it for the onrush though. So if we get to the point where I can unlock the onrush, then I'll get the endurance training. Otherwise, I don't really care. We found the boss, and it's a mage. The most disappointing boss we can face with playing this build that we're playing right now. It's just too easy, man. Next. <laughs> and he's running. 
Good stuff. All right. That was a quick dungeon. Can't be worth bringing back, I think, this stuff. No. Water. Reinforce stuff. So that was kind of disappointing in terms of loot from the boss room. Okay. Let's see if there's more around. We'll clean up the whole dungeon, obviously. Trying to make some money here. Oh, fish. Starter won't start, so I think it's either the battery issue or the starter problem. Damn it. Uh, you came to the wrong <laughs> stream if you wanted to talk cars. You can. I mean, maybe someone can fill in, but... Uh, I have a very nice mechanic. I really like him. Uh, I've only needed to use him once since I got my new car and he fixed a thing for free because he sold me the car and he was like, eh, it's on me. So I feel like every time there's anything with my car, I just, I'll go hand it on over to him and he, I'll be like, fix the thing. It won't start, start it up and then I'll come back when it's done. <laughs> and that'll be uh, the essence of my, my car expertise. Kitchen, what happens when you don't get your coffee? You get the shakes and jitters? No, I just get tired. I just, uh, it feels like I never really wake up if I don't drink my coffee. Feels like I'm just sitting there. Oh, I, I, I watch a lot of net, let Netflix when I don't drink my coffee. I just sit and watch, watch Netflix all day. Which is not a bad thing. Sometimes I do that even if I drink my coffee, you know. But if I'm trying to be productive want to do something with my time where I actually produce something I gotta get up and and drink that coffee Wardmaster cheers for answering my question on the YouTube oh uh, yes I recall is this a continuation of the same run it is indeed Yeah, I mean, uh, and x is hits it on the money here. I'm kind of getting a little bit bored with this playthrough, um, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we are just murdering everything. Like, I feel like I've broken the game with this build. Not sure exactly how we got there. Oh, but I'm, I mean, we're also paying for it in gold within the run. Uh, but I, I, there's nothing else that I want to buy, I think. I have most of the top tier equipment that I want. We could get some better boots. Technically, we can also get a better... We can get a little bit of better of everything. I have the most expensive sword that I could find, and we have the best spin van braces. The jewelry is fine. There's a better cape somewhere in the game, and I'm sure we could upgrade some of the... The belt is also one of the best. So, but everything's cursed with really good curses now, so I wouldn't really necessarily want to replace them, right? So I really want to fight the troll, and once we fought the troll, we'll probably be about level 10. And once we're level 10 and half kill the troll, I will probably just start murdering everyone in Osbrook, everyone in Manshine, and everyone in Bryn. And then I don't know that there's much more we can do. I'm also kind of, I'm also kind of excited for the next playthrough where I'm kind of going to try to be the hunter again and go and use the new survival skills. So maybe that's part of it. I kind of want to finish this one up. Put a, a wrap on it. You know. Start a stone shard run. Sto choose the build. Okay. Well, let me know what you have for an idea. It'll be the next one after this one. And it, it can overrule what I just said if you want. Essentially, that button, in case... I don't think everyone has ever redeemed it, so I'll explain it right now. Excavate has clicked the button on my channel. You can save up these points called redeem points on Twitch. And he spent a bunch of them to redeem a stone shard build. Which means that now we are going to be doing a stone shard build if we weren't playing it already. But we are. And then Excavate will get to determine whatever he wants out of that run. Basically. That's the concept anyway. Until someone abuses it. Then I'll remove it. So, fire away. Uh, 
and doing my points for another one. So do dagger bows, daggers with bows, but mainly focus on bows with dagger as a port on Durban. Okay, well that's kind of what we were doing the next build. So maybe maybe it's the same thing that we're talking about. I can mix in more daggers than I was planning through though. It might be a good idea anyway. If you want, you can choose the exact build like on every level. Um, I'd be open for that. That's like a, a little, you can like type it out if you want, if you know what you would want me to pick. I don't know exactly. I'd like to see some of these survival skills though. And I haven't really talked about them because I'm going to be talking about them in the next run. But there's one in particular that I was interested in. Let's see if I can find it here. Huntmaster. Grants accuracy and weapon damage when fighting against beasts, which I think sounds really cool. And the troll counts as a beast, you know. So I think this this path here is a given, right? That's really cool. Oh, what? I'm being searched? I don't have stolen goods on me. Is this how you treat your guests? Fine, here's what I have. Smart choice. Now, what do we have here? Everything seems to be in order. You're not the one we're looking for. Oh, okay, so this is just like a random checkup. Huh. Interesting. Don't know if I've seen that before. For a second there, I thought we were in trouble. It's like when the police stop you for a routine check or like just ask you a question. And you're like, uh oh, <laughs> you, you go through in your brain. What crimes did I commit today? How could he have known? Was I giving up a vibe, a vibe of being a criminal? This doesn't happen to Kitchen very often. I'll just throw that in there. Uh, so you guys don't get any misconceptions about the Kitchen brand. I am not a criminal. I am a pirate though, I guess. Technically. I serve the high seas. We got a potion of weakness. Okay, so we can. This is a negative potion. That's kind of cool because we can throw it in the face of people, and then they will get the the debuff for a while. Shoot the daggers with a bow. Next level thinking there. Get a few points of the dagger skill tree to help your melee. Hmm? And you can do it with a shield in offhand, or if you have something else in mind. Okay. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We come here for the high level play and the lack of misclicks. Wow, Rudu Silver, you got lost, eh? <laughs> we're so close to level 10, but I guess we're not there yet. Now, I don't know where to go and sell stuff in Bryn. I haven't played it enough in Bryn. There's the pawnbroker over here. We'll check out if he has something cool to buy anyway. We can loan money from him. Oh, and I should go to the, the craftsman quarter and turn in that recommendation letter. Yeah, there's nothing here. Sometimes he has one of the high level treaties and he does. In this case, it's just not the one I want. Whoops. A pick pilt. A pick pilt is a pick skin. Or am I crazy? Picks don't have pilts. They have skin. Interesting. You didn't let me do this last time. What do you want to... What do you want to do with that, Redo Silver? You, you, we have a skill point right now that I haven't really made up my mind about. So if you want to pick a skill, go for it. Going to work some more in your car. All right, X-Rate. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you fix your car trouble. I'm sorry I couldn't be helpful. <laughs> I always like making fun of my own ineptitude, though. So we had a good opportunity to do that when you bring up cars. Sell it, it's fine. I 
uh, somehow I'm still making money. Despite having all those debuffs, curses. What, what do I get for selling a vivifying essence? Maybe we sell one. I guess I clearly don't need four. It's kind of insane. Oh, do they sell for more here? They sell for double here. Sure. That was dumb. Uh, but now we will go to the the craftsman's quarter and see if we can tr trade in that recommendation letter for some cool stuff. I've been excited to see what that brings to the table. What athletics book is that? Did I miss an athletics book? We are going to go and check. I just turned into a bunch of skill books. Uh, one of them was the ranged book. Maybe that's what you saw. No. It's the second one. Damn. Okay. If it had been the third one, we probably wouldn't have been able to afford it. But we could have jumped on that. Athletics Treatise 2. I don't particularly care for the inner reserves. This will give me energy. And I have not needed energy for this entire run not once but i want the elusiveness so we will only get it in the reserves if we can get elusiveness thank you for checking it out though my burden reputation is with benevolence still yeah the size of the bedroll is kind of dumb I feel like they need to squeeze that in a bit. I don't see myself ever buying one. And I don't know why you would make one unless you can sell them for a lot of money, maybe. Anyway, I have a letter from Burn. Great to hear. Now what about the money we discussed? You made this fee. You just made that this fee up, haven't you? Listen carefully, friend. If you think that Burn has the authority to decide who has access to the storage and who doesn't, then you're gravely mistaken. Let's just say that he and I have an agreement, so occasionally, just occasionally, I do him a favor. However, I'm not going to risk my position without some sort of compensation, so stop trying to take a stand and pay up. Otherwise, good luck finding a tailor on your own. He still wants the 2,000 gold then. What a scammer. I'm gonna give it to him because I want to see what kind of stuff it unlocks. But let's just go and check out some of the other merchants first, in case. There's something to gain there. Here's a letter from the Quartermaster. Ah, so that's how it is. Burn is, Burn is under false impression that he and his friends are above the law. By the host, stop stalling and tell me what you want. Fine, I'll meet you halfway. I don't want your money. It has no value these days. Gems, on the other hand, are always in demand. A single ruby should be enough to prove your dedication to our cause and the depth of your pockets. Find a ruby. Okay, we saw one for sale in the... in the... pawnbroker shop. So we can complete that. And then there's this merchant here, not you. You. I have a letter from the quartermaster. Let me see it. Ah, damnation. Does Burn think we'll always be able to get away with this? Fine, I'll help you. There are some goods which haven't been um, mentioned in the records. But first, my friend, you'll bring me three bottles of Elwin ice wine to make it worth my while. These damn people. And their damn demands. So with 2,000 gold, a ruby... Okay. It makes their demands smaller. Not the guy with the 2,000 gold. He wanted the same. But sure. Maybe we can buy a ruby here. Now I saw that someone was able to steal all this stuff in the store somehow. I'm not sure how he made that work though. 959. Sure. I just... I don't mean... I don't think that we can 
there's anything that I would want to buy from them, unless I, I mean, I'm sure I would if I have infinite money, but I don't think we'll be able to afford it. I'm just going to do it to see what happens, so we know for future runs. And then they all went to bed. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Not at all. So did they go to bed in here? Ah, let me steal your stuff. I guess not. Yeah, they closed shop for the day. God damn it. So we gotta find a tavern. Where's the other tavern? That's the one here. So we'll go and rest until morning. Uh, rent a room. Oh, this is an expensive tavern. Fine. That's where these people are trying to fleece me. <laughs> but free food? Oh, this is where I sleep. Okay, let's see upstairs if there's more stuff to steal. I mean, they're stealing from me, so uh, it's only fair if I take a little bit back, right? Stop being stolen goods after a while. We can drink and eat here. All right. Now go bed. Sleep until, let's just say, seven. Rusty Crows. Hey, do you think the game is going to be finished soon? No. I won't lie to you. I think the game is finished already, but probably not in the sense that you'd want it to be. So, different strokes, different folks. But no game is, I've, I've made this point before, no game is finished these days. What game comes out in 2022, 2021 or whatever that is finished? Name one, I'll wait. Wait, what? I'll admit I didn't read the dialogue there. But I just gave him a ruby, didn't I? Yes, my ruby is gone. Just trying to see if I can find it here. No. So maybe we can... That gave me nothing. You return in the evening. It's not a complicated, complicated quest, it's in the list. Oh, some brain officials have grown so complacent that they refuse to take bribes in gold. So no, uh, the, uh, the carving will not settle for less than a precious gem. A good-sized ruby should give me access. Return to Noel in the evening. Thanks for pointing that out. So I guess we go and sleep until the evening. Not sure what counts as the evening for that purpose. Well, maybe after dark? Uh, so like 18 should be evening. I'm not going to be afford to pay, uh, be able to afford to buy anything from him anyway, but I just want to see what is getting unlocked here. Is this the evening? I don't think so. It's too early. Nope. Okay, later than 18. Bum, bum, bum. Back and forth. 
there would be a use for a bedroll there to just lay a bedroll out on the floor and be like, all right, I'll sleep here until you want to talk to me. Uh, oh, it's already 20. Let's go 21. Bum, bum, bum. Now people are going to bed, so surely this must be considered evening. He didn't say nighttime, right? So, and then he... realize we could enter this building. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Is he upstairs? Yes. Don't you dare go to bed, sir. So what goods did go missing today? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is like a shield and bow merchant. High level shield and bow. I see. That's cool. I mean, that's worth it for unlocking the late game stuff. Sure. All right. Not what we need for this playthrough, but now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Then you need 7,000 gold to be able to buy this crossbow, for example. Which is also, I think this is the highest tier crossbow I've ever seen. So there you go. Oh yeah, for sure. It's way ahead of everything else. If you spend a few months actively using this crossbow, even the village fair strongmen will envy your muscles. Okay. Damn. And then the higher tier bow, heavy Eldorian bow. That must be this one here then. Curved bow, heavy Eldorian bow, 28 piercing damage. Has enough power to knock an armored knight at full charge from his saddle. Damn. All right. Yeah, Nistrian bow. Very cool. And then some high tier shields. Just gushing a bit over the things that I will probably never ever be able to buy. One day, one one sweet day, guys. I will when the when they add more end game content, we will be playing with this stuff. The problem is that I usually get bored before we get to this kind of stuff, you know. But we'll try to to complete the other two quests for the other two merchants. So we needed three units of elven ice wine, and we need 2,000 gold for the other guy. Let's see if we can scratch that together in this playthrough. I was hoping they would add like a goal to the game, finish the story. Yeah, um, they will at some point. Noko O. Hello. Oh, you guys are saying hello to each other. Go to his sleeping place. Good, good call. 40 damage. I like how they put the reloading levers in the crossbow arts. Yeah, I mean, the art in this game. I think I've mentioned it before. Big fan. Uh, how much money do I have? 1,500. Yeah, I don't think we could afford three elven ice wine bottles. Uh, and they'll have closed shop anyway right now. Or maybe we could buy the first one and stockpile it. Um, oh, now I left the tavern area, right. We need to reach level 10. And I think we do that best by getting to the next quest. No, oh, I need the gold. God damn. Yeah. So I don't think we need the letter of recommendation anymore, because I've shown it to the people who needed to see it. So I'll just stash it in my little stash over here. The attention to detail is fantastic. Oh, hell yeah. I can chill a bit and say, if you like pixel art of the level... Okay, then let me rephrase that. If you like really good pixel art, not quite the level of Stone Shard, but still really good, you should check out some of my other playthroughs in, for example, Legend of Keepers. I've been talking a bit about how 
in love I am with that game because of the amazing pixel art that it uh, put, put uh, well brings to the table. And uh, I'm currently working on a new playthrough for a game called The Despots Game. Uh, that will be coming up on YouTube after the Legend of Keeper playthrough stops. And uh, it has some amazing pixel art too. So, very excited to show you guys that game. Do you like the map increase? I feel like they added a whole lot of nothing. They have promised that they will address that fact in the next big update, which is coming soon, trademark. <laughs> so they are aware of it and they're going to address it. It just hasn't happened yet. And no, I don't like it. I think it's cool. I just think, like you said, that there's too much nothing and not enough real stuff to do. Which is realistic if you think about real life and how long it takes to get everywhere. But it's not what you want out of a computer game. So they need to do something to make either travel more interesting and worthwhile. I think like uh, reducing the amount of hunger and thirst that you get from just walking around would be a great place to start because one of the tedious parts of walking around is that you gotta, if is when you get so far out that you run out of food and water and you gotta be like, oh, well, I gotta walk all the way back. Otherwise I'm gonna die. That's the worst feeling ever. And it is amplified tenfold from what it was previously. Previously, it was like, okay, well, like I got to walk back. It's like a five minute walk tops. Now it can be like 20 minutes of you just walking through the map. And that's too much. So that's why we, I, I've stopped exploring. You can see here, I, I don't stray too far from the towns anymore. And I, I don't want to, not really. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of sad, right? Because it feels like, it feels to me like the game is the same size as before, I suppose. Because I don't want to stray further away. And we're not using more than like 30% of the map. It's kind of sad. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah, the tw 12 slot. Is it 12 slots for the bedroll? That's insane. But in early in the early iteration of a new in, in introduction in... Uh, Stone Shard usually comes with a bit of bumpy, a bumpy ride, so to speak. Right. Oh, we're running out of food. Oh, what's this? Ruby Mage. Oh, there's different Mage Braces. Oh, these are different. Look at this hat. Visor Pot Helmet, 3,900. Oh, boy. Uh, 